little bit nerves, but uh, at the same time excitement because you know, it's something that I, I really enjoyed as a kid and um, I'm happy to be having a go at it today. One of the coaches has given me his paddle, so uh, it's uh, a bit different to the flat water. Obviously, a few bumps and, and a bit of white water in there, but it uh, should be nice and fun. And you know, I did a bit of racing today, and uh, so I'm nice and warmed Where up. Where were you paddling white water before? Um, near Queenstown, so around Queenstown and Wanaka. So, like on the Kawara, shot over, mm. um, the Makarora as well, all around those areas. Cold water, so yeah. this might be a little bit warmer. I think we'll sort of get down each drop and then stop. Go in an eddy. Go in an eddy, have a break, and then mm -hmm. go again and see, right. how, see how you feel. That sounds pretty smart. Shall we jump on? A bit nervous, but at the same time excited with uh, what was going to happen and what did happen in the, in the end. It was it was good fun. Yeah, I, I was a little bit nervous as well, just because I didn't want anything bad to happen, any injuries. It is challenging out there, and for Curtis, it was, it was his first time back on Whitewater for how many years? Like twenty years. Twenty yeah, years. Yeah. So a pretty momentous occasion, and and super exciting to be able to do it together. Once I saw him roll super easily, I kind of felt a bit more confident and then I thought okay he's picking it up quickly we're gonna get through this pretty well. For me it was a privilege to take him down and to be part of that and to see him back on the water and to see him like enjoying it and pushing himself and challenging himself on the rapids because it's pretty daunting when you get back out there and see the height of the waves and, and feel the water again and get the push and there were a few capsizes but yeah. yeah a few sketchy moments but we got through it. It was a part of you know showing that I can still do what I used to do and showing that you know people with a disability can still get out there and have a bit of fun on the white water as well and um, you know, kayaking is such a sport or canoeing as well is such a sport in which you know, so many disabilities have have the ability to get out there and, and give it a go and um, you know, kayaking is a sort of very accessible sport especially when you've got facilities like this here in Penrith. Yeah a bit of ingenuity that comes into it you sort of play around with different balances and my legs are a little bit different lengths so um, trying to get that balance right and then obviously in the boat with water it uh, makes it a little bit more tricky but um, just all a trial and error and um, thankfully uh, I could sort of f lean on those experiences from what I had as a kid and, and um, obviously the help of, of Jess and the crew here. Your knees are kind of held in by uh, something that comes down and holds them down and then your hips as well so you do use your legs even though you don't see them you, you do use them a lot so Curtis today fit out the boat with a bit of foam, um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't perfect but it, it did the job and, and yeah, he was awesome out there. For us slalom athletes, we've got the Australian Open coming up uh, next weekend and the Oceania Championships the following weekend, so big month in February, uh, international athletes are out here training and racing and it's going to be super exciting, I think there's about 300 of them, so it's going to be one of our biggest events here ever and I, yeah, I can't wait to get back on the start line.